numerous gunfights, most notably in Zacatecas. However, despite that, the CJNG are still fighting hard and are showing no signs of surrender in their bid to dominate the drug world. They certainly may be losing the battle, but they certainly haven't lost the war yet. Knowing how the CJNG operate, we know they like to use social media, use the internet to essentially push their propaganda and also scare their rivals by uploading brutal videos. And I fully anticipate that this war will churn out a lot of brutal and graphic content, mainly from the CJNG. The Sinaloa cartel, they do release these sort of videos, but nowhere near as frequently as the CJNG. One of the first pieces of truly graphic content released in regards to this war is the video in which I'm going to be talking about today. Now, this video is actually a first on my channel, because when I look back at all of the videos in which I've done, all of the victims which I've discussed have died. However, that's not the case in this video. And weirdly, it makes this video, to me, even more unsettling because of what they did to one of the guys. But anyway, what's the actual video about? Well, the video is around 27 seconds long. The video opens up with two men sitting on the ground. The guy closest to the camera has a white shirt and the guy furthest from the camera has a blue shirt. The victims are two Sinaloa MZ members, and the captors are the Guerrero faction of the CJNG. The victims are sitting on the floor with their hands tied behind their backs. The guy closest to the camera, the guy in a white shirt, he basically has his fingers cut off one by one by what I guess you would call garden secateurs or hedge clippers, whatever you want to call them. And he is taking this very well. No real sounds, no real reaction. He's just sitting there taking it. And as they remove the fingers, you can see a small pool of blood where his hands are behind his back. But the guy in the blue shirt is getting it far worse. At the start of the video, the CJNG guy is holding the victim by the hair. And when you look at his face, you can see that they've basically done something to his eyes. Uh, where his eyes are, it's completely covered in blood. And it actually looks like he's crying blood instead of tears, it's blood. And at the start of the video, you can see the CJNG guy drop a knife. So I wonder whether they stabbed this guy in the eyes first. And then as the video plays forwards, you see the guy get a spoon out and then try and basically dig into the eye socket to try and remove the victim's eye. And he starts with the victim's right eye. And as he's digging the spoon in and kind of pulling it out, you can see the guy's eye slowly start to protrude. And it looks like the guy's eye is going to pop out. I'm not sure whether it did or not because the video quality isn't the greatest, but one thing's for certain, I'm not a doctor, but that guy is not going to see again. And essentially that's where the video ends. So you see the guy closest to the camera getting his fingers removed by like a pair of secateurs, and the guy furthest away from the camera, he gets his eyeballs gouged out with a spoon. And the worst thing about this video, as far as I'm concerned, is that they apparently let these guys live. God knows what else they did to these guys, but according to most reports I've seen, according to most people I've seen talking about this, yeah, apparently they let these guys live. In fact, I've seen some people even say that they actually made these guys fight after this video. So, yeah, truly horrendous torture, you know? Uh, particularly in regards to the guy getting his eyes gouged out. I mean, can you imagine... The last thing you see is that.